Hey guys, it's Protendo, and Kirby is definitely one of those series that I always assumed did better than it actually has. I mean, everyone knows Kirby, he's one of the most popular and iconic video game characters of all time, and has a huge library of titles. So I guess, subconsciously, I naturally assumed that his series would also be dominating in the sales department. And while the franchise certainly hasn't seen poor sales, 40 million isn't anything to sneeze at, it definitely hasn't reached the numbers that I would have expected from the pink puffball. Return to Dreamland, a mainline Kirby game on Nintendo's best-selling system that I was sure would have done insanely well, only sold 1.8 million units. Star Allies, Kirby's most recent title and best-selling game since his debut, hasn't even sold 3 million units. And that's on the Switch, mind you, a system with a reputation for its incredibly high software sales. However, Star Allies was considered to be mediocre by many reviewers and fans, so it's very possible that this might have hurt its sales. The developers at HAL seem dedicated to making the next Kirby adventure the best the series has to offer though, even saying that they're aiming for the next title to be the pinnacle of all Kirby games. This has a lot of fans thinking that we're going to see HAL stray from the Return to Dreamland formula that's been used in the past four games, and see something truly new and exciting. So, with Kirby having a fresh mainline game on the horizon, as well as having a spin-off recently released, I thought this would be a great time to talk about the untapped potential of the Kirby franchise. One of Kirby's strongest traits as a protagonist is his versatility. He's similar to Mario in the sense that he can work in almost anything. Take a look at Link. He stars almost exclusively in adventure-based titles, the character was built for it. So if Nintendo wanted to put him in, say, a dancing game, there would definitely be a lot of eyebrows raised. But Kirby can be thrown into almost any genre or style and work perfectly. It's truly a gift. And because of this, Kirby has definitely been one of Nintendo's most diverse franchises in terms of spin-offs. He's been in a racing game, fighting games, and even turned into yarn, truly encapsulating the three main genres of gaming. Despite this, there's a lot of ground that Kirby hasn't covered, or at least hasn't covered extensively, where I think his games could be very successful and enjoyable. So let's talk about those. First and most obviously, we have the 3D platformer. A lot of people are assuming that Kirby's next mainline game will be a 3D platformer, considering the fact that HAL seems very confident in the direction they're heading in, and 3-dimensional Kirby is an exciting new prospect. It even seems like they were dipping their toes in the water with Kirby's Blowout Blast, a Planet Robobot minigame turned at full eShop release featuring Kirby running around in 3D environments and racking up combos on enemies. It wasn't what anyone expected from a mainline 3D Kirby game, mind you, but the fact that it was in 3D is what got a lot of people excited not only about its release, but the future of the franchise. And while I definitely am not part of the camp that thinks a franchise is automatically better once it goes 3D, it can't be understated how impactful the jump to 3D can be for a series, and that there's a certain excitement that comes with adding the Z-axis. It's honestly pretty hard for me to imagine what a real 3D Kirby game could be like, since the character has almost exclusively existed in a 2D space for his 28 years of existence. But HAL is an incredibly talented company, and I have faith that they'd be able to make something really special. The next genre I'd like to see Kirby take a crack at is one that I don't see very many people talk about in relation to the character, and that's an RPG. With Mario and Luigi seemingly dead, and Paper Mario straight up switching genres on its fanbase, Nintendo currently has a significant lack of more silly and lighthearted RPG games, and I feel like Kirby is the perfect series to attempt to make up for this. Am I the only person who sees how perfect this would be? Here we have a franchise with incredibly iconic and recognizable characters with distinct powers specific to them, a lead able to harness various abilities, enemies who you can persuade to join your party, it's all just too amazing. The Kirby series is also known for having surprisingly dark lore, so they could even delve into that if they wanted to. It would honestly be great to see the franchise go in this direction, and RPGs are seemingly having a major popularity surge thanks to games like Persona 5 introducing people into the genre. Does this mean that I actually expect to see Kirby RPG anytime soon? No, absolutely not. But I can dream. And finally, the next thing I want to talk about isn't actually something Kirby hasn't explored, and is instead a sequel to something that he has. I'm of course referring to Kirby Air Ride 2. Kirby Air Ride is an exceptional game, there's a reason why it has such a loyal following. Its city trial mode is pure bliss, and is definitely a game that you can find enjoyment in whether it's your first time playing or your hundredth time. 
and it was released in 2003, that's 17 years ago. The gameplay possibilities for a sequel have simply grown larger and larger as time has passed. Online play alone would justify a $60 price tag for me, but there's so much more they could do. New maps, new modes, new characters, new abilities, the devs are only limited by their imagination here. And if we're talking business, Air Ride would be the perfect game to make a Switch Online exclusive. A title with a huge focus on online multiplayer, maybe add in 8 players instead of 4 and boom, you've got a runaway success. The fast-paced wackiness of Air Ride is something that I know a whole new generation of fans would enjoy a lot, and Nintendo just needs to give them the opportunity to do so. And those were the three potential Kirby projects I wanted to talk about. But the best thing is, I feel like I was only scratching the surface of what the pink puffball is capable of. There are so many games, so many genres that would be perfect for Kirby to dive into, and I'm excited to see what his future holds. I'm sure it's going to be bright and push his series to new heights. But anyways guys, that's about it for this video. What do you think? Is Kirby's next game going to be major? And do you think the series is missing out on a lot of potential success? Let me know in the comments below. Protendo, out.